guys so for this tutorial today I'm gonna be using one of my favorite pigments from Maybelline it's called buff and tough once you put it on your eye and you put it with like a really great um, primer and a glitter glue to really hold all that glitter all that pigment just really have it packed on it's one of the most amazing pigments that I've ever used ever ever and I also have a lip tutorial this is like um, I'm calling it like the perfect red lip. Also, I'll show you how to make a glossy, kind of like a satin shot, high shine um, lipstick turn matte. My hair is like in this awkward short stage and I'm like, I don't know, it's really weird. For me. I usually either go really long or really short. So having it here is so weird. But if you look back a couple of videos, you'll see that my hair was actually like all the way buzzed off. Like I had like a little curly type thing going on, but it was like like this short. Like like there was <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It was just super short. So this is the growth since then. And if you guys want like a really quick video on how I keep my hair healthy and making sure it's growing, I don't do anything really specific, but if you would like to know what I do, then just let me know in the comments below. One more thing, I started doing a dupe alert. If anyone does not know what a dupe is, a dupe is pretty much um, a cheaper version or just a different version of another product. So for example, I'll have a dupe for Ruby Woo, which is a MAC lipstick, and a dupe for that would be Spotlight Red Lipstick. Those two are literally the same color. You're just going to get one that's a lot cheaper than the other one. Same power is the same. I mean, obviously it's lipstick, so even if you eat and drink whatever, they're both going to come off. But if you're just wearing them as a normal day lipstick then you'll be good um so that's what it is it will be in the description box anyway i think that is all so if you'd like to see how i created this look then keep watching and i'll see you in my next video all right so we're gonna start off priming my eyes with some um concealer and this is just going to ensure that my eyeshadow does not move does not crease glass all day is perfect then i'm going to set it with some powder that's the same color as the concealer just so that blending is so much easier for us we don't have to work super hard Okay, now I'm going to apply oatmeal tan per usual into my crease just to serve as a transition. Makes every other color that I'm going to put on my eye so much easier to blend and everything just works out amazingly, seamlessly, beautifully. Okay, so now I'm going to apply October Fuzz from Coastal Suns and Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. Use those two colors and I'm going to apply it right under the first transition color and also to the v of my eye this way i'm going to start creating some dimension we're going to start really building up this look now i'm using new terrain also from coastal sets and i'm going to apply that to my um out of v area and a little bit um into my crease but notice i'm not going over the other colors i'm just building up the one i'm using right now then I'm using NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk just as a base for my next few colors. I'm going to blend that out, make sure there's no creases. And then I'm using um, Creme Belay from Wet n Wild. And this is also a dupe alert, so look for it in the description box. And I'm going to apply this all over, then blend it out with a clean blending brush. Up next, I'm going to go ahead and apply e.l.f. Glitter Glue to my eyelid. Let it get a little bit tacky. I'm going to leave it on for about two seconds. Then I'm applying the star of the show which is a Maybelline pigment called buff and tough this color is absolutely gorgeous I mean it has shimmer it has glitter it has the whole nine yards I can't even explain I'm applying two coats that means I'm gonna apply the glitter glue right on top of it again and then I'm gonna apply the pigment once again onto my eyelid just to make sure I'm really letting this pigment just pop then I'm gonna go ahead and use new terrain again just to blend out everything and make sure there's no harsh lines. Then using Mocha from Makeup Geek, I'm gonna apply that to my outer V. This is just gonna create more dimension. It's gonna give me that smoky effect. Just build this color up until you get the intensity you want. So up next, you're gonna go ahead and take a blending brush with no product on it and just blend everything out. We want no harsh lines. Then I'm going to go ahead and just highlight my brow bone. You can use any color you choose. I'm just using a matte um, beige color and then blending it out. So I applied my eyeliner and lashes off camera because you guys have probably seen me do this a hundred times. But I'm going to go ahead and tight line my eyes um, with a black liner. Then I'm going to just smudge it out. Because we want this look to be smoky, you can choose to skip this step if you would wish. Then I'm going to apply new terrain to just kind of smoke that out a bit more and have no harsh lines. Now for the perfect red lip, use a red lip liner and dark red lip liner. 
one for the middle, one for the outer lip. This is going to create an ombre effect that's absolutely gorgeous. Here I'm using Spotlight Red by Wet n Wild, which is a dupe for MAC uh, Ruby Woo, and this is absolutely gorgeous. Then use the dark red one to kind of just blend everything in. Then use a translucent powder to set it just to give you a matte look. You can add more for matte, more matte look. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.